So we are who? Who are we? Who, who are we? You. Who are you? Bueller? Who are you? Uh, we are Quilters HQ and Windmill Sewing Center and Sewing Machines Express. Sewing Machines Express in Springfield, Missouri. Windmill Sewing Center is over in Overland Park, Kansas. And Quilters HQ is here in Olathe. So the websites are QuiltersHQ.com, WindmillSewingCenter.com, and QHQ, the number two, dot com. And Joan just told me I got a D for reading the announcement. She's got like a grading scale over here. It's A through F. So, I uh, don't know if you can see it. We're selling block number 10 tonight. Hi, Donna. And How are you tonight? It is, um, it's like an Ohio star with extra stars. It's a really cute pattern. This could make a great quilt all on its own. So, let's get started. So, it's saying, so all G and F, which is the 2 and 8, 3, 8 squares. It's these little tiny triangles. Do I have enough of these? I don't think I do. Uh-oh. Right, row right. says 8. Yep. So, maybe, oh. We just need eight. So I'm just going to sew all of these together. I've already got my machine set up. We are still playing thread chicken because I've got just a little bit left. I am sewing with color 2615. It is my favorite even when I'm sewing white and it doesn't really matter because it just kind of disappears. So let's piece all of these smallest triangles together first. And then, of course, I've got my doohickey and my scissors here next to me for pressing because we don't want to run to the iron. And I am paying close attention. I don't think I've had a trouble-free week yet, but this is going to be it. This is, I, I can feel it in my bones. This is going to be the weird week where everything else besides the cameras just goes really smooth. So I hope everybody had a great, or has having a great Valentine's. Robert gave me flowers and they're beautiful. But we're just gonna spend a quiet evening at home rather than the madness of the restaurants. So we need eight of these white and pink half square triangles. I think we have one of these machines left on our floor model sale. We might have two. So if you're thinking about it, do we have one or two of these, of this one? We have two of those, uh, but uh, yeah. Really great price on it if you're thinking about it. Very, very good. Spaghetti and meatballs and brownie and Sundays later. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. Ooh, Kathy's you know what sounds good. In. Hey, Janice, how are you? Happy Valentine's Day. That baked ziti at Maggiano's. Send us a Valentine's Day emoji, everybody. Yep, share the love. Okay, so that's all of those. So let's just let's just use the trimmer on the machine. <laughs> so far so good. Let's keep our fingers and toes crossed here. I'm just gonna press nice. these. Nice, love it. Okay, got the ones with the wings, that's cool. 
That's a good one. I want to see. When we get our studio set up, I will be able to see. Yeah. That. I don't know if I like the thought of that because, you know, when you set up the studio, you have a TV showing what the screen shows. So you're actually looking at yourself. And that might be scary for me, but <laughs> I think I'll manage somehow. Nice, Darlene. Good. Carlo, I haven't seen that one before. Is that like a ribbon around it? Something like that? Mm -hmm. Is that what it looks like? So those are really small. <laughs> hey, his husband says every day is Valentine's Day. That's right. Oh, there you go. That's so sweet. It's going to trim these dog ears off. That's a good one, Kathy. Kathy started sewing since her knee surgery. It's been three weeks, so she's back on the, the sewing. The is, world that, is, is was that your foot pedal foot or knee that side? I would be sewing with the start stop button. Oh, Mrs. Cranford, well, congratulations. Happy anniversary. 47 years. Everybody should Ooh. give her a shout out. Nice. She is quilting like a mad woman out there. We are eating Thai from a little lady who makes takeout from her home. So good. So nice. I might fall flat after eating too much. <laughs> no doubt, right? It's hard not to overeat when the food you're eating is just mm, delightful. Yeah. Okay, so next step is we're making our flying geese. We're going to use these and the rest of our, and we need four of these. I think I cut out too many of these. Four of those. We've got our half square triangles to go with them. So I am going to start with these down here in the corner, just like that. Hey, Donna. Put my presser foot down. There we go. You got too many of them? I might have cut too many, but you know what? Better too many than not enough. That's for sure. That might have been why. Well, there's always some behind the scenes around our show, and sometimes we're trying to get ready. And Joan was on the phone with tech support, uh, sharing some insight into the reporting module that we were having a couple issues with. So she got off about uh, 10 minutes before the show. So it's yeah, always. <laughs> sorry about that. So apparently they're having some issues doing math on their reports. doesn't affect the purchases that you make. Those are all fine. It's just that they're kind of struggling with the calculations. And it is the season for taxes. Oh boy. Yeah. Let's see. Kathy's husband made her steak and a baked potato. Clean the kitchen. Oh. Oh, wait, he's been doing that for three weeks. <laughs> well, he does live there too, right? So, sweet of him to pitch in. Okay, halfway through our half square, our flying geese. This block is going to take just a smidge longer. I think we'll have time to do it all tonight. There's glue on my scissors. No! I know. No glue on the scissors. And we do have a giveaway and a new, new thread of the month. Color of the month. Ooh. Did we show last month? No, because no. we didn't have the show. So this is our first February show. Our first February show. And there won't be a show on the 28th. We're going to take a little short vacation before busy season. I'm really excited about that. 
Yes, I will miss all of you, but I will be on the beach. Yesterday, Kathy caught him cleaning and doing some laundry. Nice. So the Ad Astra shop hop is going to be starting too, uh, March 30th through the 31st. Yeah. Thursday, 9 to 6, and April 1st, 9 to 4. So with that one, all of the shops are going to have a block, a, pat a pattern, I think. I don't know all the details yet. I have to, I think we have another meeting before the shop hop. Hey, Debbie, welcome to the show. Might be a phone call. And then uh, the Kansas Nebraska shop hop is going to run for two months. So that starts April 1st and goes through the 31st. We do have the passport uh, magazines in stock now. So in stock. Don't if, wait. Come get them. If you are, I think we have 70 or so of those. Um, make sure to pick one of those up if you're planning on doing the shop hop. And that way you can have your passport and all that good stuff. So. There is a charge for those. Them. They're ten ninety nine yeah, or something, something like that. Like that. Can look. Connected. Connected. That's the kind of day it is. It's connected day. It's a connected day. Connected with your sweetie. Too connected with this. She's not this. Okay. What projects is everybody working on? I am working on a mountain of <laughs> it's actually, sorted fabric that it's actually uh, dwindling, huh? I mean, it really what is. It is a smaller mountain, but it's still a mountain. It is still a mountain, but it's it's a small mountain. It's like a Kansas Flint Hill now. It was the Rockies. <laughs> So sorting this fabric and putting it away, and some of it's like little hey, Carol. scraps. I mean, I know you've done it where you've been working on a project and you're like, okay, well, I'm just going to throw this over here. And then it goes into one of those plastic bins that you get at like Target or Lowe's or somewhere like that. And um, then all of a sudden you've got a mountain. So that's how I wound up with this situation. And so now I'm trying to deal with it, and I don't have a flat surface that's clean in my sewing room. And it's kind of frustrating. I've got like four or five quilts to bind, and I don't have a flat surface. I guess I could bring it in here and cut it out, and that would work. The binding for the, the quilts that I need to do. So we're doing the other half of our flying geese. So what is everybody else working on? So, Kathy was asking, how do you store your small scraps? Okay. What do you like to put them in? So, I have, so if it's a half yard, then I have a six inch ruler. And I actually take the half and wind it around the ruler and then fold it in half. And so each piece, I kind of fold differently. So that when I'm looking at my stash, I have everything on bookshelves um, from Ikea. I think everybody has some of those at home. Um, so I fold everything a little bit differently so that I know what it is. If it's a yard or more, I actually wind that around the eight and a half inch ruler and then fold that in half. And then that goes on those same shelves. And if they're smaller than a half yard. I actually wind it around that six inch ruler and then I wind it again around the three inch ruler and it gives me kind of like this little kind of, I'll bring some in next week and show you. A little, um, almost looks like a fat eighth fold. And then I have them in just little plastic baskets. 
where I can see the tops and see what kind of fabric it is. A lot of projects coming in here. So Joan's working on an embroidery. Embroidering a heart zipper bag for her daughter-in-law. Donna's starting a cardstock wall hanging cut from the Go Baby. That's nice. cool. Mrs. Cranford's working on a graduation quilt. Tis the season to be working on those. Take a while, right? Those can. Take a minute. Working on a, Janice's working on a cross quilt for Easter. Nice. Beverly's working on a mystery quilt. I won't list out all the projects that I have. Um... I have a stack of blocks about that high that need to be pieced together. So for me, this is the year to sort and organize and finish projects. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I did get a really Penny Heron. Do you remember when she came? Yeah. So she had this really excellent suggestion for sorting your fabrics Betsy's working on a ham sandwich <laughs> I'm kind of hungry too <laughs> and Peggy's working on a John Wayne quilt for a cousin they haven't seen nice. husband got the wild idea to quilt it like a puzzle quilt it like a puzzle right, you finish today okay all right so some let's small start credit card bags and some hot fingers <laughs> Small credit card bags and some... You gotta food. love our community here, out there. <laughs> I do. There's a little humor to go all the way around, and you fit right in. Okay, so we're going to make this inside square next, which is like this. Hey, Rachel, how are you? And one of those. Did I cut those wrong? I'm pretty sure it said two... B, B is two inch squares. Spring break. And I did. And I need how many of those? Four. I think Rachel needs to work on a, a rag quilt. So anyway, the tip that I got from Penny Heron, which I am taking to heart, <laughs> I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to, is... She doesn't sort her fabrics by color. She sorts them by, what did I have my idea? Nope, that must be it. So this is, I need eight of those. Um, she sorts them by kind of genre, if that's the right word. So she has all of her 30s prints together, all of her Christmas prints together. Mm -hmm. All of our reproduction so kind fabrics. Of a theme thing. Yeah, theme. That's the word I was looking for. And so when she goes to make a quilt and she can decide, okay, I want to make a reproduction quilt, she's got all of her reproduction fabrics together. Mm -hmm. Or if she wanted to do a Christmas quilt, then all of her Christmas fabrics are together. And so she doesn't have to sort through every single piece of fabric in her stash to find just the right fabric. And there's some overlap with some of them, so like, but for the most part, that's how she sorts them. And I am going to adopt her idea because I think it's brilliant, and I'm gonna sort mine that way as well. Okay, we're just gonna make our side rows here real quick. Broke our thread. Because oh, no. <coughs> I'm playing thread chicken here. I like to get the best use out of all of my thread. And if I had the accessories out for this, I would just put the spool stand on and stand the spool upright. We don't get out all of the accessories for the machines because we don't want to lose them. And sometimes I'll pick up a foot and walk away with it and then it's gone forever.
sew the other sides on these real quick and we'll start piecing this inner block. Kathy asked, what does everyone do with empty thread spools? Anita Good Design has a chess set pattern that you can embroider in their like little pockets and they just fit over the top of the thread spool. What do you do with empty thread spools? That's a good question. I missed it when you answered one of them. Oh, okay. But everybody else, throw up your ideas and suggestions. The red one? Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. The block <laughs> is starting to come together. So I'm going to press these towards the white. That's really good. Ms. Cranford said that the Quilt Guild uses them on uh, fidget mats for elderly patients. Oh, nice. And then these I'm going to press towards the center of the block so that my block will nest nicely. Let's get these on the right way. What is that show? No whammies? Where you're like, no, no whammies? No mess ups? <laughs> hmm. I thought the chest set was kind of cool where you take the little spindle like the um, aerofil and then mm -hmm. you can um, carve a horse out of it or no it, it's an embroidered and it makes like a little almost like a little finger puppet thing and you put it on top of the spool and then you have a nice little travel chess set for young people who like to learn how to play chess mm. so if they lose one you can just make another They're all the same color, though. You'd have to get a different color. I was going to say, you could just saw the top off of them and you'd have a checker set. <laughs> well, you don't have to. I mean, yeah. the, the bottoms come off. Well, there you go. The air foam. Learn something new every day on this show. You didn't know the bottoms came yeah, off? I probably did, and no wonder my the bottom fell out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here is... The very center of our block turned out super cute. <laughs> Ruth said she can don't be happy to donate. There's that. And so then the <clears throat> no, next good. portion that we're gonna do is making these um, outer portions. Looks really cool with the grunge fabric. Yeah. So we've already created these. So these all get B squares. I need four more. I did cut all of these wrong. Hey Ann, how are you tonight? So let's just piece all of these. There's four pieces. They get white squares. Let me make sure I'm looking at it. Yep. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think, Donna, I think they said there were three kits left. Two kits, three kits. Three. So, yeah, we're on block 10, so it's not too late to get caught up. So... We had purchased enough fabric for 25 kits, so we just cut out all 25 because we always have people who want to do 
If not, we saw them at the shop house or somewhere, right? Stumble across us and figure out that they want to do the so along with us. Yeah, so they were asking, and she stored them in a jar for a year to see how many she went through. Suppose? Yeah. <laughs> And then while I'm here, I'm going to sew these. And these get pieced like this. And they're all gonna be the same. So I'm just gonna do, there should be four of these and there are. So I'm just gonna piece these as well since I'm already chain piecing here. So Mrs. Cranford said to make the fidget mats, they cut the fabric 18 by 22, add buttons, rings, old zippers, pockets, whatever. Mm -hmm. I've seen those. They are kind of nice. I wouldn't mind a fidget mat of my own. Okay, now we have a new thing for this year. Anne has just set the bar. So last year she went through 25 spools. So now everybody's just keep track of their spools and then we'll tally them up. See how many thread spools we go through. We wouldn't want to know how many we go through here. <laughs> no. It's in the thousands. That's, I mean, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We make a lot of quilts here. <laughs> we do. And we use and the same. And demos and serger thread and. We use the same Aerofill thread for quilting that we do for sewing here. And we do go through a lot of it. I think we're probably. A uh, prize for the winner. All right. I like that. Okay. Yeah. I'll come up with some prize. Sure. We could do the, um, and so this other piece is going to go on like that. We want to make sure that we get all of these right. So I'm going to line this up like this, just like this. Fold over, fingers and toes crossed. We could do a big giveaway of our partial thread spools. Yeah, there are, we always do have a lot of partials. And, and we wouldn't be included, viewers only, no businesses, so... Just viewers. Yep. So just regular sewers. Yep. If you're a long armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'd have to have a different category and You'd have to beat us. <clears throat> and we do yeah, literally lots. How <laughs> they can you? email but Carrie's gonna keep a spreadsheet. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, there's always something fun to do on the show. Well, they gotta send pictures or it didn't happen. <laughs> she said that didn't count her long army. <laughs> That's awesome. Color of the month. This guy right here. It's, it's going to be 4660. I don't know the name of this one. I don't remember the name of it. Hold, uh, hold on. Molly's on it. We like to keep her on her toes. Throw some curveballs. Pink taffy. Pink, Pink taffy. taffy. This is a perfect color for this month. I thought so too. It's a little variegated, right? It is a variegated. So. It is 4660. You could use it to quilt this quilt. Hmm, so. You can kind of see it there. It's got a variegated color to it. So if you are a member of the club. 15? No, 20% off. 20% off. off. And if you're just buying on the show, it's 15. 15%. Yep. Okay, so we've got all of these. That is a pretty color. It goes from fuchsia to light pink. And you said and you're not you... here next week. No, we are here next oh, week. Yeah. The week after. Oh, okay. 
I, I think it's the week after. Yeah. Yeah, the this week next week. So these, I'm going to, these pieces, I'm going to press the seams towards the middle, I think. They're going to attach to this. Yep, so that's right. I mean, this quilt can end up quilted in that color. I think it would be yeah. perfect quilted <laughs> in this color. It does not... It does not have white, so it's pink to fuchsia, back to pink to fuchsia. So it would be perfect. So sometimes variegated on a busy quilt like this, they it's can get lost. So sometimes with, you know, a quilt that has a lot of blocks like this, um, and these I'm going to press towards the out, outside. Um, Sometimes a solid quilting thread will work better on a quilt like this. But since this one doesn't really have any white in it, I think this would work fine. Yeah, you just don't want that stop and start with a quilt like this. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. No pressure. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. <laughs> it is Valentine's. Yeah. Do we get a pass? Okay, so I'm going to piece We started piece. a little late tonight, too. So. And then we had an outage, so... And an outage. And a tech support call. It's all happening over here. <laughs> That's why we say it's live. Anything can happen. Yeah, for sure. We haven't got any phone calls yet. No, that's true. You want me to call in? No. <laughs> oh, a friend. Sometimes the children, even though they know we're doing this show, do? they still call. Like we're gonna answer. They're adults. Sometimes though, I think they forget. Let me just make sure, and I didn't. I think it goes like that, and I think I did this one incorrectly. I did. We'll fix that in a minute. So this is not the show for the perfect block, because I already messed up. Oh. Oh. Disappointed. Yeah, you were a little rushed. I was. We'll get as much as we can we can. Well here, you could take this out for me. With the electric seam ripper? Um, I don't know where that is. It's like that my is sewing in Carrie's here. office. What's wrong with it? It's going the wrong way. So all these? No, no. Just the one long seam. What? Oh, I just discovered a new thing I like about this machine. So have you ever been sewing along and you get to the seam allowance, like right here if you just stop the foot lifts up and it will just i like this this will just this little piece will just plop back down oh. okay maybe not it won't plop back down no with your picking out skills <laughs> i'm starting to get worried here you are i am okay i did rip some the other day on the long arm I didn't mean to, but, you know, so it just went. You tore something? Yeah. That did. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. What? <laughs> I'm separating this. Okay. With the skill saw. <laughs> Calm. You're scaring me. Calm. Uh -huh. 
This is my worried face. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so we might get this mostly done, but Ginger said it's looking good. I do like this block. I think this would make a real interesting quilt in red, white, and blue. Oh. So you could do the blue in the middle here, red on the outside, and then you've got your white. This would make a great patriotic quilt. Okay. So I'm going to make one of these. get sewn here. That's why we alternated our pressing of our seams. So this will nest really lightly and we nicely and we don't lob off any corners here or points, not corners. Anybody got anything interesting to say? Is this like torture for you? Yeah. It's like when I get my fishing line hung up and wrapped around my bait caster. And then I'm going to press these like this. That's what it's like. Do our giveaway. Okay. What is it? Is this Benertex Fabrics? Yep. All right. What we got for you tonight Pearl Eyes Marble by Canvas Studios. And it is a charm pack. A charm pack there. Different colors. Very cute. <laughs> Who wants to be a winner? I do. I'm kind of a bass fisherman, but I do like to catfish. I definitely like a crop walleye. So, uh, let's see here. We got. Okay. Gary, are you out there? Are you going through the list? Finding a winner? Congrats to Ann Buckley. Oh, Ann. Buckley, nice. congratulations. Congrats, yes. So she's came up with a new contest for us to tackle. what it's going to look like once we get the other piece on. Man, that jukey's a good sewer. <laughs> that is a really pretty block. I like that one a lot. Oh my gosh, 
Yeah, she did it. Yes. Woohoo! There's a woohoo for you. He is a woohoo guy. We got just enough time. It looks like like three minutes till seven. Three minutes. Can I do it? I think I can. Yeah, the red, white, and blue would be interesting on this quilt, so. Yeah, you could do a whole quilt in it. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about um, sampler quilts. You don't just get like one quilt. You can take the blocks and do all kinds of quilts. This would be absolutely gorgeous in uh, red, white, and blue, this quilt. Have a good night, Beverly. Almost. Almost there. We're almost there. Sampler. So you could get like the sampler platter, right? You get the sampler appetizer. Like that? It's kind of like that. You just get more bang for your buck when you get a sampler quilt quilt. Nice. I don't think it happens that way in the appetizer. Mm, Kathy likes the batiks. Might be cool in batiks. I think it would be very yeah, cool in batiks. So Got it. The points look great. Oh, thank you. Aww. Haven't lobbed any off. Well, well, there's one. But done is better than perfect all day long. <laughs> I did not. This is the sewing show, bit. folks. Car. I'm flooring it. We're going to finish. We're cheering you on from the pits. Woohoo! One lap to go. Get the sample flag. Okay, arms away. <laughs> Hands down. Everybody away from their machines. <laughs> now, I was thinking the baking shows. Yeah. Like, step away from your dish. There we go. Da -da. All done. It's a really cute block. Happy Valentine's Day. I know, right? Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. And we hope that you had a wonderful Valentine's Day and got to share it with people you love. We yeah. love sharing it with you. As always, change your needle. Change your needle, check your thread path, and oil your rotary hook. Put a little oil on that guy. Just a little drop. Yep, he will thank you. I think I'm going to have to ditch this spool because it keeps coming unthreaded. <laughs> ah, so. one for the jar. Yeah.